Hey friends, before few days back just I created a blog or you can say a post on my website infoelias.com and the heading is create bulk users in Active Directory. Basically when we think about that to create account on Active Directory is not a big deal just you will go on Active Directory user computer snap in and here you can uh, create an account and uh, here you can create an account uh, right click new and uh, you can create this account by putting the details on user name first name last name logon name and all but when we think about to create multiple accounts suppose if you have uh, 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 500 accounts which which is going to be created in your active directory and if you will go on uh, dsa.msc and if, if you will create um, individually one by one so it will take uh, uh, more than 500 or you can say that uh, uh, 600 minutes for creating 500 users if you will uh, provide one minutes for each users uh, but uh, in the power cell you have an options to create multiple accounts uh, with using CSV file if you have the details in your CSV file so you can create the account so how you can uh, uh, create an account through the CSV file so just uh, because I just already created this CSV file so I will tell you that what exactly you required for creating accounts basically when you are creating an account in Active Directory so you require the first name last name display name username at least you require these details and password and all uh, but if you want to create accounts uh, in uh, like uh, in a specific OU or if you want to put uh, other attributes including street or email address or state or country details so you can just put these all details in your excel sheet and uh, uh, you can save it as a .csv file I mean, like similarly how we did I just created a, a csv file where I mentioned my first name last name display name username email address and if you want to add street address like address of your user account so you can put over here and here you can just mention the city zip code state country department password uh, telephone company organizational unit if you want to create accounts in a specific organizational unit so just you need to put over here distinguished name of your organizational unit where you want to create it so I just created this bulk underscore users CSV file now I will go on the PowerShell I'm just going to don't save it because it's already uh, configured so I am going on my PowerShell I will go on PowerShell ISC and uh, in the Power, PowerShell ISC here you need to just put the uh, command which you use to create an account so uh, because I already created this detail so I will just do the control A and control C and here you need to put it inside the text box I just enter the details and all and uh, I will go from top of this PowerShell script here I am just importing my active directory and creating a, a variable $AD users equal to import dash CSV this is the path of my uh, CSV file which will be imported and it will be um, assigned to this variable now it will run the for each loop this is an also a variable and uh, now if we we'll go inside the variable so uh, it will just take the username equal to username and username so this username will be taken from this csv file I need to also just open the csv file so it will be easier for you to understand how it is putting it so uh, this is the username 
this is a username if you will go through this is the username and this is the password so each and every attributes will be taken and it will be stored inside the users uh, user variable and then it will redirect it to this variable so user dot username so username will be taken from this variable now similarly it will take the password and uh, last name and other attribute value so after taking this all value so it will just check to see if the user already exist in active directory so in case if you are going to create any account like amit.gupta and if this account is already exist so this will be checked through this uh, if get ad user dash f same account name equal to username if this account exist inside the active directory then it will show a message a user account with username already exist in active directory in case if your account does not exist then it will go uh, on the next process this is new ad user so this will just process the same account name and uh, it will put the username value and uh, user principal name similarly it will take first name last name uh, whatever that you have assigned uh, inside the csv file and what you want to uh, what exactly you want to create uh, while uh, uh, while uh, while creating an account with the details like uh, i just assign the given name surname enabled either the account which will be enabled uh, true or false here you can just mention over here if you will do the false so account will be disabled it will be created but will be disabled display name display name will be first name and last name path this is the path it means the path will be the ou uh, uh, structure where you want to create suppose if you have multiple organizational unit and if you want to create uh, one account in um, in infra underscore ops ou or if you want to create this account in some other ou so you can just mention it so the path will be taken through the ou city similarly uh, this will take the um, other attributes city company street address office phone uh, email address so you need to fill these all details so these details will be taken from this csv file now account password convert to secure string password as a plain text force and uh, even if you want to change password at login uh, if you want to make it false so user will not uh, user will not be asked to change the password on the first login so i always recommend you to do uh, to enable it and to do it uh, true so the password will be changed on the first login because uh, this password is just uh, um, with the administrator who is creating the account so it's something like confidential so i always recommend you to make it true so on the first login the password will be changed now i will just execute this powershell script and we'll see if this account created in this ou like uh, infra underscore ops currently if you will go inside the dsc.msc uh, this account is not created inside this ou so once we will run or execute this powershell the account will be created inside the infra underscore ops ou so i'm going to run this script the script has been successfully executed it means no duplicacy is there i am just going to refresh it now you can see this account has been created and uh, with all the details whatever that we have mentioned inside the csv so first we will see the first name last name is matching display name is matching uh, from the csv file email address is also matching if you will go through the csv file this email address is amit.gupta uh, sorry ajay.mishra similarly you can see on the amit.gupta as well now if you will go on the account so see user must change password at next logon so the script which we have created where we have mentioned the change password at next logon that's why it's true and that's why it is showing over here now on, go on the general 
and check other tabs like I just mentioned the city New Delhi, state Delhi, uh, this is uh, Delhi, New Delhi and uh, similarly if you, you, if you want to see other options because I haven't mentioned the telephone number so the telephone number is not visible over here and if you want to see other attributes so just go on the attribute editor and uh, check the value which you have mentioned in the CSV file so this is the way which you can use to create the bulk user accounts currently I just uh, given an example for two users similarly you can create multiple users like 200, 500, 600 or 1000 users as well so this is the way which you can use to create the account so if you want to copy or if you want to access this uh, PowerShell so just go on my website infoelias.com and here you can see this uh, PowerShell script is mentioned with CSV file how you want to uh, how exactly you will create the CSV file and this is the PowerShell script so you will just run from this import task module Active Directory this will just import the Active Directory module to last of the curly braces over here so this is the way which you can follow to create the Active Directory user accounts in bulk methods like if you uh, if you don't have any tools like manage engine or solar uh, or some other tool so you can only use the powershell script and create the multiple accounts thank you for watching this video